All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about the welterweight division, Jerron Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz. And Virgil Ortiz making a prediction about Jerron Ennis. Let's do that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. We're going to talk about Jerron Boots Ennis and Virgil Ortiz, two up and coming welterweights that appear headed for a collision course and what uh, Virgil Ortiz had to say about Ennis. Before I get into that, though, again, thank you guys so much for your support of the channel. It is truly, truly appreciated. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then make sure you hit the bell icon so that you can get all notifications so that you can be notif notified of when we release more videos. And also you have to make sure to select all notifications. Otherwise, you'll just get them occasionally. Um, so you might miss some of the videos that we put out. Also, if you do wager on sports, make sure to take advantage of our partnership with BUSR at busr.ag backslash Fanon. We regularly run promotions over there that allow you to get extra value for your wagering dollar if that's what you do. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, who is going to be fighting, I do believe it's this weekend against McKinnison, um, is being asked about his fight and what he's going to do in the welterweight division, all of that good stuff. And he brings up the name Jerron Ennis. Now, why is this important? There are four champ or three champions right now in the welterweight division. You have Errol Spence Jr., who is the WBC and the WB and the IBF champion. You have your Danis Ugas, who was the W, who was the WBA super champion, and you have Terrence Crawford, who was the WBO champion. But below them, you have a new up and coming crew of very, very solid welterweights. Some say welterweights that are better or can be better than the actual champions that there are right now. Two of those are that are talked about at the highest level are Jerron Boots Ennis out of the fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and uh, Virgil Ortiz, who is from the Dallas area and actually from the same area as championship as champion Errol Spence Jr. Not sure if he's in Arlington or if he's in Dallas specifically, but in that same area of Texas, big time fighter, um, absolutely horrendous tra uh, uh, um, talent in the sport of boxing who will be fighting um, coming up, I do believe, this weekend. Also, both he and Jerron Ennis are both in the top five of every major sanction and body. Um, I do believe that Virgil Ortiz is actually ranked higher than um, that Virgil Ortiz is ranked higher in every sanction and body than Jerron Ennis, with the exception of the IBF that has Jerron Ennis at number three and Virgil Ortiz at number four. But Virgil Ortiz is ranked higher in the WBA, ranked higher in the WBC, and ranked higher in the WBO than Jerron Ennis. So, but both of those guys are in the top five, are both in the top five of all four. And as a result, they are walking right up on getting their mandatory shots. Uh, title shots. Um, the I do believe that Jerron Ennis is being or has been ordered to fight Custio Clayton, and that winner of that fight, which I do believe is taking place like April third, early April, will be um, will be the mandatory for the IBF title that's held by that is held by uh, Errol Spence Jr. and that uh, and that Air, that. that Virgil Ortiz is in position to be named the mandatory for the WBO for, uh, for Terrence Crawford. Now, what Virgil Ortiz said, because it's not unreasonable for people to say, okay, well, what about these two dudes? Are they going to fight? Virgil Ortiz was asked about that, and he said, yeah, absolutely. If our path is crossed, I'm going to knock out Virgil or I'm going to knock out Jerron Ennis, right? And he said it very matter-of-factly. If I fight that guy, I'm going to knock that guy out. That is... To, to the ears of many boxing fans is, um, I wouldn't call it ridiculous. However, with the despite the higher ratings by Virgil Ortiz, and quite honestly, the earlier start on getting his name recognition and buzz behind his name, uh, Jerron Ennis, for the way that he has been fighting and the way that he's been dominating the people that he's been dominating, has had a much bigger boost as of late, where people are literally like Sean Porter or saying, this guy can probably beat 
or has a good chance of being able to beat Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford right, and right now, let alone um, Virgil Ortiz. But where I come, where my viewpoint on it is, is that this fight between between the fight between Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis really is a potential for a classic fight. You've got a guy that is a come forward fighter, a big, strong come forward fighter in um, in Virgil Ortiz, right? Who goes to the body is a pressure fighter, and then you have a guy that in Jerron Ennis that is. Uh, that is, they can pretty much do everything. But if you had to, you know, box him into something, say that he's kind of the more athletic a guy that would have the ability to outbox you, has the ability to fight on the inside, right? Can fight at mid range, but just a guy that, if you look at it, is the much more, is the more all around skilled fighter, is probably the better athlete. But a lot of times when you get those type of matchups where you get that type of come forward fighter, aggressive fighter that knows how to cut off the ring, really knows how to wear that wear you down to the body. If he's got a really good chin and a good game plan to him can cause those guys problems like, you know, classic examples of that are um, Julio's Luis Castillo versus a Floyd Mayweather Jr. In the first fight, you have uh, Roberto Duran versus Sugar Ray Leonard in their first fight. Right, where guys that you have these pretty much super athletic dudes that can do pretty much anything they want in the ring, but then you have guys that you know can bring the pressure. And what they say is, you know, pressures make pipes pipes bust. So, you know, Virgil Ortiz is not playing around with anybody about what he's trying to accomplish and what he's gonna do, what he's trying to do with people in the boxing ring. If you look at his fight with Igas Kalvinakis, if you look at his fight that he had with Maurice Hooker, even though I think Maurice Hooker ended on an ended, ended on ended on an injury. Um, he's the type of guy that you may be in the fight with, you know, for early, you know, early rounds that you can score and you can box and you can look, you know, relatively decent against, but with his size, his strength and his aggression over time, he starts breaking you down. He starts going to the body, slowing guys down. And especially in the Igus Kalvinakis fight, he was able to do that and he was able to stop Igus Kalvinakis. So that's what he says he's going to be willing to do and able to, able to do to Jerron Ennis. And, you know, pretty much sounded like he didn't think Jerron Ennis was that big a deal. Now, uh, my take on the matter is that, uh, nah, uh, that's going to be very, very tough for him to do unless they wait for that fight for a while. And, you know, and Virgil Ortiz is able to see more fighters that can fight something like uh, uh, Jerron Ennis to get him prepared for all of the different things that he can do. I think that he's, that it's a, that it is, even in those classic examples that I, that I, that I just that I uh, provided the one with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Castillo, Sugar Ray Rock, Sugar Ray Leonard, and and Roberto Duran. Um, you see what happened when those what you see what happened in the second fight, <laughs> the second fights where and it's in and even in the first fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr., where the more talented, well rounded guy got it at the end of the day. And I wouldn't expect much different, you know, much of a different thing to take place between uh, Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis. So for Jerron, but, but if if Virgil Ortiz is going to win the fight, he's going to have to win it, to win that fight in the way that he said he could win it, which is by knockout. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.